What do we actually teach in a drone course? We'll stick around, I'll let you know. When a student walks into one of our classrooms, we assume they know nothing at all about drones. We start from the very basics, how the drone flies, why the drone flies, and more importantly, how to set up the app to make it fly like you want it to fly. So many people think, what's the big deal? Why do I need training? All you do is push one button, the drone takes off, right? That's true to a point, but just like airline pilots, they aren't paid the big bucks to fly that airplane every day because most of it's automatic. They're paid to know what to do in an emergency, and emergencies will occur with drones, loss of GPS signal being one of them. So we teach people the manual skills needed to fly a drone if they get in that situation. So what we do first thing in the morning is to go through the app completely and let the student know how to set it up to most effectively get the way they want the drone to fly. Then we tell them about the various exercises we'll do out in the field. So this takes up most of the morning. Right after lunch, we go to the field and we start off with a small drone like this one, the little Esheen E58. Now this is nothing more than a toy drone. You won't get any commercial results out of this. The pictures are poor, the video is poor and all that, but it's got altitude hold in it, which helps it stay in one position and allows the student to concentrate on flying it. Because here in Florida, once we get out in the field, there will be wind. So as soon as the little drone takes off, it's going to move around. And we teach the student how to counter that. So some of the basic skills we work with are, first of all, just taking off and landing, which is sometimes easier said than done. We talk about hovering over one spot. And with the wind of position, that's hard to do, too. Then we talk about simple maneuvers like flying right, flying left, flying forward, and flying backward. But then we add additional maneuvers. How do you fly in a square box? How do you fly in a square box and turn the camera towards the subject? And then a biggie, of course, is how to fly in a circle, because you have to operate both controls at the same time. So we work on that for a while, get them familiar with that, and then move on to something else. The next drone we bring out is our Phantom. Now this is one of the earlier models, but it's still got a lot of autonomous modes on it. And we take them through the same exercises before, and with the stability of this drone, it's much easier for them to fly these patterns we did in the earlier exercise. So they get time to practice on that. But then we bring out my favorite. Here's the Mavic 2 Pro. This is a super little drone, very stable. When you throw this thing up in the air, it looks like you set it on a shelf somewhere. Go through the same exercise again. Also better than the Phantom 3 that we just talked about. We talk about return to home. We talk about some of the autonomous functions and show them how this is used. And if you remember, there used to be a lot of scare stories out there about drone flyaways. We teach students that if you set your drone up properly, that's next to impossible for that to happen. So we work them through that. Then we bring out a different drone, our Parrot Anafi Thermal. And what's great about this one is, even though it's a tiny drone, it's got thermal capabilities. It's got a 4K camera, as well as a FLIR thermal camera built into it and you can get some great shots with it, and you can use it for any kind of thermal inspection. Now it's French, made by the company Parrot, and while the French can make little quirky things, this is a really good drone to fly in. Then finally, we bring out this thing. This is our Inspire 2. This is the biggest drone we've got. It can be run by two operators, one pilot and one manning the video camera. Really built for serious cinematography people. Interchangeable lenses, high quality up to 6.2K, 480 gig solid state drive in the back, a lot of high-end features on it there. So if you're serious about cinematography, this may be the one for you here too. Then finally, we've just ordered a new one called the Skydio 2. Don't know if you've read about that. Pretty incredible little drone here. This thing is totally autonomous. It'll follow you just anywhere. Great for solo video makers, YouTubers, Anybody that's got a small crew, we're looking forward to that. And I'll give you more detail about it once it comes in. Now, after our field time, we go back to class. And we'll finish up talking about business opportunities. How can I use my drone? How can I make money with it? Then we talk briefly about how to start a business and some of the basic regulations. 
And that finishes up our ground school and flight school for the day. I hope you're still enjoying these videos. I still enjoy making them. And if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you'd like to share it with your friends, please do. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you've got a video that you would like to submit to me, please do. I'd be happy to include it into a future video. And thank you for watching.